What if your data could tell a story through time? Stick around, I'm going to tell you how you can do it yourself. Alright, so when it comes to Power BI, date tables are probably going to be your best friend because you can enable time intelligence functions, have increased filtering options, and then you can forecast data as well through scatter plots or other visualization tools. But today I'm going to tell you all the benefits on why date tables are going to be extremely important and you should integrate them now within your dashboard. All right, so first up, we have data consistency. So that means if I'm using a date table and I have multiple data points coming from numerous areas within my data sources, so then I can use a date slicer and then affect everything within that dashboard as a whole. Now, the key thing with that is making sure that all your relationships are set up because if they're not, your date tables are not going to work properly. But once it is set up appropriately, then you're good to go. All right, so for those in sales where we're looking at periods of quarters, years, or things like that, it's going to be helpful as well because now you can look at predictive and then prescriptive analysis and then what's in your current state as well. And then the granular detail you can really achieve is, okay, you want to look at weeks, you want to look at months, you want to look at days. It really depends on what you want to provide to your end user. So the options are really limitless here. Now there's going to be numerous ways you can really incorporate a date table within your data set. But the one I use personally is going to be DAX and I have that live within data view. So I just have it really living inside my Power BI data set. And then if you have data kind of living and coming in from a SQL database, you can also do it there as well. So there's really so many options here. This is not an inclusive list, but I would just suggest that you always incorporate a date table because it's going to save you so much time in the long run when you look at what has happened, what is happening, and then what's going to potentially happen as well. Hey, so with that said, check out my video down below so you can see exactly how we're going to incorporate a date table within Power BI. Thanks for watching.